Welcome to Best Buds Gardening. I'm Julie. Today I'll show you how to set up a simple hydroponic system that is reusable and will last for years to come. Indoor hydroponically grown plants can grow up to 30% faster than soil grown plants. We can control the light, the temperature, the nutrients, eliminate the insects, and we'll use less water. If that sounds like a good alternative for you, let's get started. We're gonna set up one of the easiest and cheapest hydroponic systems. It's totally do-it-yourself. It's called a deep water culture system, or DWC for short. The first thing we'll need is a five gallon black bucket. Why black? Because we don't want any light getting into our system. If it does, algae will grow. If you've ever had a fish tank, you know what I'm talking about. Algae will rob your plant of oxygen and nutrients. Algae is a weed in hydroponics world, plus it's just gross. We'll need a lid for our bucket. You're going to need at least one net pot, which is reusable. The most common sizes are two inch and three inch. You'll need a fish aquarium pump and air stone that will put out five liters per minute and ideally comes with check valves. Plant roots need oxygen if they're gonna survive the long haul. We have to put oxygen into our nutrient solution for long lived plants and cold water holds more oxygen than warm water. Depending on the plant you're growing, the water will need to be between 62 and 72 degrees. Any warmer than that, and root rot can start to occur, especially for plants designed to live longer than 60 days. You can use a frozen water bottle inserted into the bucket every 12 hours or so to help regulate this temperature if necessary. You'll want some clay pebbles. This is your growing medium. It's what the plants grow in instead of soil, and they're reusable. You'll need a grow light. I've been using this brand for seven years, and I've only had to replace them once last year. I like them because they're inexpensive, full spectrum, don't put off any detectable heat, and last for about 50,000 hours. They also fit right into a regular light socket. I put mine into chicken coop fixtures so I can move them around and clip them onto whatever I need to. If you use this kind of grow light, you'll want it as close to your plant as possible. You'll want a pH meter. This is a must have. If you've got growing problems, it's most likely a problem with the pH of the nutrient water. Most plants will thrive with a pH of 5.8 to 6.5. Your tap water may not be in that range, and will also change when you add in the nutrients. If your pH is outside the desired range for your plant, this will lead to something called nutrient lockout. That means the roots of your plant cannot take up and use the nutrients. Which brings us to the next items you'll need, pH up and pH down. If your pH is off, put in a teaspoon of the appropriate solution, stir well, and check your pH again until it's correct. As your plants consume the nutrient solution, the pH can swing, so check it every few days till you kind of get to know what your plant's doing. Finally, you'll need nutrients for your plants. Now, this is where things start to go south for a lot of people. They try to cut corners and use fertilizers that are meant for use in soil. You really want a nutrient that's meant for use in hydroponics. It's not more expensive. It may in fact be cheaper. So why get everything else right and then make your plants suffer because you thought you could save three cents? Just get the right stuff. It will only cost you about 13 cents a week to use the right stuff. Personally, I use Master Blend 41838. It's inexpensive and works for most plants. If you choose to use that brand, you'll need calcium nitrate along with Epsom salt. Don't waste your money on rock wool. There's a much cheaper seed starting medium called a paper towel. Now let's set this up to operate correctly. I have three inch net pots. That means I'll want to drill a three inch hole in my bucket lid. I'll cover my lids with aluminum foil to keep the light out. I'll also drill holes large enough to accommodate the air pump hoses right at the top of the bucket. Next, we'll mix up our master blend formula. We have a five gallon bucket, so we'll want to mix four gallons of nutrient water. I'll start with one gallon of water in my bucket, so it's easier to stir, but I'll put in four gallons worth of nutrients. The maximum nutrient load for four gallons is 9.6 grams of master blend tomato formula. We mix this in until it's thoroughly dissolved. 
Next, we'll put in 4.8 grams of Epsom salt and mix until it's thoroughly dissolved. Finally, 9.6 grams of calcium nitrate and mix it until thoroughly dissolved. It is very important to mix these up in this order to prevent nutrient lockout. Master blend first, then the Epsom salt, then the calcium nitrate. Then I'll put in the last three gallons of water for a total of four. Take a pH reading of your nutrient water and add pH up or pH down as necessary. If you're starting new plants, use half this amount of all the nutrients. Seedlings don't consume as many nutrients as full-grown plants, and some plants, like green beans, just don't need very many nutrients. So keep in mind the type and age of your plant when mixing all these nutrients up. Nutrient burn can happen in a matter of days, and it's irreversible. If your nutrient solution is too strong, your leaves will start to curl downward, and you'll see brown, burned areas on your leaves. If that happens, cut those leaves off and use a new nutrient solution only half the strength of what you were using. Finally, I'll put my air hoses through the holes I drilled and attach my air stones. My air stones float, so I'll hold them down with a couple of dinner knives. Your deep water culture system is now set up and ready to use. As a general rule, you'll want to provide your plant with a brand new bucket of nutrient water every two weeks. Just top it off with water on week one. If for some reason your plant drinks everything on week one, just give it a new bucket of nutrient water. It would have to be a pretty massive plant for that to happen though, like an adult giant pumpkin. One final note, how to change your nutrient solution. I'm sure there are many ways, but I wanted to share the way I do it. I mix up a brand new bucket of nutrient water, drain out the old nutrient solution with a water pump, and then reverse the process, refilling my black bucket with the brand new pH tested nutrient solution. Okay, you're all set. No more daily watering in the horrible heat. No more bugs. <sighs> can you feel the relief? With one bucket, you can only grow one or two plants at a time, depending on their size. But why do you care? You're no longer limited to the growing season outdoors, where we have to take advantage of non-freezing weather and try to grow as much food as we possibly can in that short time. Sit back and relax. You have all year, and the next, and the next. Your gardening season now never has to end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be alerted to my new videos.